All right. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here today on Coffee with Sauerkraut. <sighs> or in Corey's uh, case, ginger ale with sauerkraut. Hey, Corey, how's it going? Ah, pretty good, guys. How are you guys today? Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, I, I see you're drinking Canada Dry. Um, I, I saw a, a meme the other day. I laughed my ass off about it. It had uh, Justin Trudeau uh, drinking a Canada Dry with two straws, and it says, "Well, apparently Justin Trudeau needs two straws to suck Canada Dry." Uh, there you go. Hey yes. Well. All right. So, uh, where are you calling us from today? It looks like an undisclosed uh, location, like a drive-through of a McDonald's or something. Well, I only got my shirt on. No pants. Yes, no, no pants. Okay. So uh, good thing there's a Zoom meeting. We can only see you from the chest up. Yes. Yes. Lots of stuff going on. Right. Oh. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like you got roughed up a little bit. Did you get beat up? Uh, no, just been oh, lack of sleep lately. A lot of helicopters flying over. Oh, all right. I thought maybe you got beat up because uh, you had some information on the election or something and, and that uh, the government didn't want to get that out. No, no, but I had to put my mega hat away. <laughs> didn't want to get jumped. Yes, no, uh, you definitely never, ever want to get jumped. That's not a, a good thing. Sorry, I'm just switching in between uh, the views here. I don't know what's going on today. Um, I'm using a different kind of... Uh, platform here so whatever uh we'll see how it records and um because i'm recording a little bit differently today um all right anyways so let's uh let's get into it because this is Corey's conspiracy corner on top of the sour coach <sighs> heard here uh which days what day do we do we do this uh what day do we do this what day we do what? The Corey's Conspiracy Corner. It's usually Wednesday mornings. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday mornings, 9.30 a.m. on uh, the Coffee with Sour Coffee with Sauerkraut. <sighs> Only on accessradio.ca slash rock dash music dash one. Um, and we're going to probably have a whole new section with like audio podcasts and video podcasts. But uh, our video podcasts are going to be going up on to uh, YouTube. We'll have a special section there for Corey's Conspiracy Corner. There's a couple up there already. Um, and then, But we are expanding. I don't know if, uh, if I've told you much, uh, Corey, about uh, what's going on, but we are expanding. We've got another um, company coming on that's helping us uh, get a little bit more attention. We're doing a lot more video uh, podcasts, uh, so to speak. So, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, the Reisner, uh, Ra Reisner, Rosner Group and Rise Up TV uh, have been working with us uh, to give us some sponsorship and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, they want some more uh, good quality products. So that's what we're doing right now, aren't we? Yes, good quality Corey's Conspiracy Corner products. Right now, speaking of good quality, uh, Corey's cor Conspiracy Corner products, theories, whatever. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about uh, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, well, it's, you know, I've been debating a lot of stuff and lately just with the whole presidential thing going on. I mean, we could jump all over the place, but uh, just just wondering what's going on with that glitch. Um, I heard it a few times. Uh, right. It's been back down. OK. Let's take uh, a look at that, that glitch uh, that, that you're speaking of, which which glitch in, in specific? Well, it was a little fishy why we stopped counting votes 1030 at night did they know about this glitch then that the votes were getting upside down backwards flipped around right yeah and yeah well oh, and and, and that, that that was uh you are right it, it's very odd that they stopped counting when this is an election night they usually just continue to go straight through the they they know this ahead of time they would have had people scheduled for shifts and stuff like that. oh my god yeah um that that this would have gone on throughout the whole entire night um, but to stop it right at 30 seems uh, a, a little bit strange. Um, I'm not sure if, if you would agree on that or not, but uh, definitely seemed to be funny uh, that that stopped. So uh, let's let's delve yeah. into this this whole 
uh, glitch that you're talking about. So, and are, are we supposed to use the finger quotes when we say glitch? Is that what we're supposed to say? Because it was, some people are saying that this was an intentional glitch. Uh, and some people are saying that it was just a, a fact that they forgot to update their system in this one particular writing. However, we're finding more and more and more information about this glitch. Um, Lots of information is coming forward. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so the, the first initial glitch was in, uh, or that was brought to the attention of everybody was in where? Do you know? Was it Wisconsin? No, Michigan. But Michigan. Yeah, uh, yeah, Wisconsin's the most recent one. I'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. But in, anyways, in Michigan, it says that uh, they found this glitch in one county that caused um, 6,000 votes that were actually Trump votes to be switched over and over to uh, Biden. Biden. And then when they, they fixed it, then Trump actually won that county. Now, in Michigan, they have 80 counties or something like that. And out of it, 47 of the counties were using this software. Yes. Now, do you happen to know the name of the software? No, no, I can't Give me remember. A second, I'll look it up. I swear, um, it's funny though. Yeah, uh, let me just find the. Um, do, 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 do. What? Uh, See, this is a pain in the butt because usually I use my phone, which I'm using to record today, and I'm using my computer to run the system. And uh, yes, so, long story short, uh, I'm, I'm working on the fly here. Um, Michigan glitch, how's that sound? Let's see if that uh works. Um, yeah, so like it, it's coming up on my phone. Basically, it does talk about how all of a sudden, yeah, vote would have. Yeah, Trump would have won the winning sides and had 50%, 56%, I believe, in that would have been that in Michigan. Right. So um, now if you look, uh, like I said, 47 of the counties are using it. If the numbers continued at the same rate. It would be kind of crazy. Now, uh, here, here's the funny thing. You, you look up the glitches and all of a sudden it says, no, software glitches are not affecting the vote counts. Nothing to see here. I <laughs> How could they affect the vote count? Biden won. Yeah. 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 Now I did send you a, 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 a photo. I mean, so I'm, I like to be the devil's advocate and I like to talk about the other side. So Corey is the conspiracy guy. And oh, I'm, the Biden. guy I, I'm the reason guy. Right. So I, I'm going to talk him into reason, but I sent you uh, something about uh, Pennsylvania and it was right about the time, by oh. the way, that they stopped the counting. So did you see that? Yeah, that was weird. Uh, basically, was it not? They stopped accounting at 19,598, I believe. Right. Okay. And that, for some reason, they took those votes away from Trump, gave them to Biden. And then, then didn't they end up it being the same address or something as the software company glitches? Yeah. So uh, here, here's, yeah. What, here's what came out. There was like 16,000 and I don't have my phone or my phone in front of me. Sorry. Uh, not 16,000. There was like 1.6 million votes already at that time. It was like 1.68 for Trump and then 1.62 for Biden. Your, your camera just shut off there, um, Corey. So I'm not sure what's going on. There. Oh. Um, okay, yeah, double check 19,958. Yeah. So then what happened was all of a sudden, and this was live on TV, so you could see this. It was happening right in front of you. So they showed the counts for Pennsylvania. Then the next shot that they showed the counts of Pennsylvania, there was 19,558, I think it was, um, votes that had switched positions. All of a sudden, Trump had um, 19,000 taken off of his total. 19,558 and 19,558 were added to Biden's total. Um, now, now that doesn't happen when a, when a candidate gets votes, those votes don't just magically all of a sudden disappear and go into the other candidates file because his votes have outweighed yours. No. Um, the only way that that happens is either a glitch or somebody's done something nefarious purposely. So how did that happen? And it happened live on TV. Everybody could see it. It was done on CNN uh, is where it was seen. 
And this, there was more than just this example, but that particular one, there was some in Senate races and stuff like that, that you can see it happen to. Uh, but this particular example was very blatant and very easy to spot. Now, as you mentioned, the, the software company um, had also um, their postal code. So they, they're from uh, Delaware, which is Joe Biden's home state. And yeah. their postal code or zip code, as they call it over there, was 19558, which is exactly the number that was swapped live on TV that everybody could see. Little fishy, little, maybe not fishy. It's just, it's really random. I right. mean, so random that it has to be fake. Yeah. Now, the other thing was that uh, there are two huge investors in this uh, company. Um, one which is a Democrat official um, that is, I'm not going to mention right now. Uh, and the other one is somebody who was a, um, what do they call it? A lobbyist for this company, uh, who was also a Democrat lobbyist. So two Democrats, very high profile Democrats as well, are huge investors in this. Uh, don't you think that that would be some sort of conflict of interest to, uh, have, to be, you know, investing in something like that? I mean, if this was Canada and they were investing in Elections Canada, I'm pretty sure there would be some sort of, um, reason or, or, or there'd be some sort of uh, uh, investigation going on after the fact, because that would be like a huge conflict of interest. Would you agree? Well, yeah, you got to think about the conflicts of interest. If I'm trying to sway it one way, isn't that like funding both sides of the war? Either way, you're coming out on top. But obviously I would, if I own this multi-million dollar company and I'm investing tons of money into it and I'm a Biden fan and I can swap votes out, I'm going to throw that in there. And it probably could have been an easy, small algorithm. As soon as Trump gets more votes, we flip. Let Biden. Oh, Trump's getting more. Flip. Let Biden win. Right. I'm more, I'm not for any which president. We're Canadian. I can't really vote. Doesn't matter. Right. Uh, all we can do is talk about it. But I, I have some weird things behind the whole fact that Biden is actually why they wanted him in presidency. And I, I personally kind of weirdly believe it had something to do with Trump taking down all the elite pedophile rings. So you think it had to do with uh, Pizzagate? Pizzagate, like it just pedo island. Like I, I honestly think that, yeah, but it, it is crazy because at the same time on here, well, you've never seen Biden's name on the pedophile island. But doesn't mean he's doesn't mean he didn't doesn't mean that he haven't have no. that he hasn't been there and yeah. um you know it's just that we didn't see we we still uh, by the way i'm just gonna go out there and say i know it's there's these conspiracy theories and stuff like that all over the place and we can uh make a whole show out of all of them but oh, uh, pe pe pedophile island was a huge conspiracy theory everybody's talking about it and all of a sudden it's come to light that it was actually a real place and that yeah. there is it was actually run by jeffrey epstein and that hollywood remember uh, Corey haim and Corey hart and all those guys all the Corys, even you Corey, <laughs> we're talking about uh this hollywood is a cesspool for um all Just of these um pedophiles yeah. molestation it, it, it's it's and and you all said Corey's were crazy Corey hart's crazy Corey haim's crazy you well, know we uh, they, they, Yo, they were committing suicide over this stuff and we still said that they're crazy fake, fake. um yeah and then all of a sudden comes the light oh wait maybe they were right uh to this day I, i'm pretty sure that nobody has uh called the Corys that are still living and uh i can't remember which one commits suicide um Art. Corey Corey Hart. So Corey, yeah. Corey, Corey yeah. feldman sorry that's the other Corey that i was thinking of and uh cory feldman uh was working on on, on uh, exposing them and and again everybody just kept saying that he's crazy he's crazy I'm, i guarantee you nobody has called Corey feldman and said hey Corey, sorry you know we didn't believe you but sh man you you were right uh, huge shout out to Corey Feldman if you're listening. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. one of those things like you were right. Um, and then even he came out later on, he wanted money. 
Um, I think you said, um, you know, if or ransom or something like that. But the last one or the one last advice was actually uh, right. I was one of the accused and rapers, and it turned out to be true. Uh, but we still praise these people that are that are touching children. They're still in TV. They're still yeah, on to, to this day. Yeah, I mean, the, they, they they think, I mean, they took down Harvey Weinstein and they think, uh, well, mission accomplished. But uh, we know that that's not mission accomplished. Uh, George Bush should know that, you know, when, when one person falls, mission accomplished can't be called yet. You need to really, you maybe you took out one of the top guys, uh, but it's still going on. And we're still allowing it to go on. And so, you, you know, when uh, people were talking to me about the election in California and that, that all these stars were going against Trump, of course, uh, I'm not surprised all these stars went against Trump. Um, well, not, that's what they do. It, and, they're still, and, and we're still listening to these people and actually crediting what these people are telling us, even though we know that there is this huge pedophile ring that was going on on the back scenes that everybody's tried to hide and suppress. And, and you're going to take their word on it for a vote. So, you know, uh, that's, that's what you got to kind of think about is why are we being herded around like a bunch of sheep, a hey, sheeple, uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. But why are we being herded ah. around like a bunch of sheep? And why are we allowing them to continue to do this, right? Now, I'm not saying that Trump is a perfect candidate. And I'm not saying that Biden is a perfect candidate. But I am saying, saying this. Trump is definitely not Hitler reincarnated, like uh, the Democrats had made him out to be. And that was the other thing that with this election was uh, people were talking about the cheating, blah, blah, blah. And well, that doesn't happen and stuff. Listen, if you spent four years making your um, presidential candidate, the opposite presidential candidate, that one, first off, discrediting the election for the four, last four years, sending them on that, uh, that Russian collusion stuff, and then you make them out to be a Nazi for the last four years, are you above cheating to get him out of office? You've, you've made this guy look like he's a Nazi. Now that you've done that, you've done your job, now are you above you could feel like election. you're a you, yes. I mean, well, and that's sure the thing. I like, like, up. like, if I was uh, running against somebody that was a Nazi, I, hey, I would do everything that I can to beat them, including cheat yeah. on the election. Uh, sure. <laughs> you know, you that's that's him? just me. Not, he's ruining right. the America. Get him out. Right, right, and that's uh, that's the thing. But uh, so you know, like him, like him, or or hate him. That, that's not what this is about. What it is about is about the, the fact that he does have credible. Uh, lawsuits. However, the media is not covering that. What the media says is, nope, nothing to see here, nothing going on. Uh, let's sweep that oh, under the carpet, right? Uh, oh, let's take a look at Harvey Weinstein over here, but let's not take a look at any of the other stuff going over here. Let's leave this here. Isn't it open but, mirror? But like, so, so we deal, we dealt with this. Let's leave this over here. We dealt with Cosby. Let's leave everything but, else over there. Yeah, and and. <laughs> It's uh, and it's some creep, you know, to get off topic about some of the stuff about Joe Biden and stuff. But I mean, like, I've seen the videos of both sides. Yeah, they're both creepy old men. Let's be honest, okay? But like, <laughs> yes, yes. And smelling kids' hair and shit. Like, what yeah. the heck, man? Okay, yeah, I can understand. You know, you're gonna go up and grab a pussy. She's at least eighteen. <laughs> oh, so. but to, to go and yeah. smell some kids' hair and and have them pulling away and you pulling them in all the time is. Yeah, that, got that, that is very awkward. But not only that, uh, the fact that he called them roaches uh, and talks well, about, well, yeah, I love when roaches sit on my lap. Um, you, you're calling kids cockroaches. Um, and then you go and sniff them and that's you know, the hug them from behind. What's that? That's the draconian lizard man coming out in them. Yeah, I guess them maybe. Because we are the parasite. Yeah, we I guess so. But, but yeah, and, and uh, lizard people would eat roaches, I guess. I don't know if that's uh, well, I would, uh, make, you make your connection. Or you eat it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, dogs, yeah. I know animals do. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess that that, uh, that makes sense there. I can't argue logic. I mean, uh, lizard people, they got to smell their food first, too. Now, but here's the problem. 
Don't forget, uh, ace buds are in their mouths. So they, yeah, what, what was uh, was Trump a lizard person too, or just just Biden? So who who's the lizard person, and well, which one? What? Why did one win over the other? So that that's funny because remember the Simpsons episode when they had both aliens running? Yes. The joke yes. is it doesn't matter who wins. Yes. No, you're right. You're right. It's way. a two party system. What are you going to do? Vote for a third party? Go ahead. Throw yeah. your vote away. What? Kanye West only got 62 <laughs> votes or 600 votes, but. Yeah, he got 1% overall, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 1% it, it, of the votes. It's just create like getting off topic with that stuff. Um, I did hear actually that uh, they say Trump never came out of the hospital. Um, oh, yeah. It, yeah, so basically they're saying he has like a clone, not a clone clone, but like a guy that looks just like look him. alike. Yeah, look like yeah. Um, you know we've talked about. I mean, every before. good dictator has a has a look alike. Look at uh, Justin Trudeau's got one. We got, <laughs> I mean, Saddam Hussein. <laughs> I meant to say has one. Fidel Castro yep. had one. You know, What's Rocket up? Man over in uh, nor- North uh, North Korea has got one. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't call him Rocket Man, but uh, that's what people know him as uh kim jong-un or ill or whatever it is i don't know the last un? Uh, uh, un, yeah um in case i ever who, go visit who apparently him. also is dead um but uh we he died of that. a massive heart attack eh well that's what they're saying and but well, uh, but yet they there's still no official yeah i mean the supreme leader um he's a gift from god from what i understand yeah. so how does he um how does he end up dying if he's well? Dead from maybe he's well, obviously he didn't die. Then they just messed up. He probably died and was resurrected uh, seven days oh, later. Maybe. Well, that is a possibility too. Um, you never know. But uh, let's get back on the topic. Let's get back on to the. Counts. Yeah, let's get back on to the uh, ballots and, and and stuff like that. The the fact that they paused this election. Uh, the fact that. Um, Jesse Ventura was running for president and neither one of us even knew that. How do we not know that a conspiracy guy is running for president? Okay. Jesse Ventura, he wasn't always conspiracy guy. Yeah. I'm at it all started when things weren't adding up and maybe he just had an open mind. Right. And um, just, you know, just you know what we need to do. We need to get Jesse Ventura on here to talk about this election and why nobody knew that he was running for president. Because he wasn't running for like uh, as an independent either, he was running for the Green Party. Uh, so, well, yeah, we should. Um, I don't know. I could probably be in your neighborhood in a week and a half, two weeks. It'd be flying out and take me to get out of where I am now. But yeah, it'd be great to sit together and get a hold of Jesse on the phone and talk to him about that stuff. I'm sure he would love talking to us about conspiracies. Yeah, no, we, we definitely are going to get Jesse Ventura on our phone. Jesse, if you're watching, I know you are because you're going to, I'm going to tag you in it. Uh, so when you're watching this, uh, reach out to old Sauerkraut and Mr. Corey. Uh, and, and we're going to talk to you about uh, the fact that uh, uh, what do you think about the election? Because, I mean, he only got like 0.6% of the vote. And I think that that is also bogus. The guy was, was he not a senator of a state or? A- Ma- Mississippi. Or- yeah. Yeah, Mississippi, like, uh, Missouri, Minnesota, Missouri? Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, Jesse, but like it's, yeah, it, it's crazy the fact. Like, I bet you he's seen things too. Like, and that's one of the weird part is like, you guys know Blink One Eighty Two, you know the yes. singer. Yes. Well, that guy didn't believe in anything. Okay, nothing. Right. Uh, he did so many concerts and started seeing weird stuff in the crowd. Like, he describes him as like shifting people shape-shifting and stuff shape like that shifting, stuff like that and then all of a sudden that you know he was very popular so he probably had people telling him about alien stories and this he, who knows he could even had a whatever they shape-shifted come and confront them on it and yeah. now he does all this ufo stuff and alien yeah, stuff so, so what what who he's talking about uh in case you're wondering tom delong yeah. um who was very successful with his music career uh put everything on hold so that he could um investigate the truth yeah and um and then he got cancer if i'm not mistaken he's still alive um and he's still pursuing the he's doing music again but he's also still pursuing the the alien avenue 
uh, or the shapeshifter avenue and all this other conspiracy stuff too, right? So yeah, they um, pretty sure they told them, hey, we're gonna give you cancer. You're, keep your mouth shut, and we'll get rid of it then. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, let's get back to the the ballot fixing and stuff like that. So let me ask you a question. Um, all these court cases that are in front of the Supreme Court. By the way, I'm just going to say this uh, flat out. Uh, Mitch McConnell said the other day, uh, which I, th I thought was funny because uh, I don't think that very many, uh, when I listen to the American politics, a lot of the stuff doesn't make sense. But this kind of made sense. He said, you as the Democrats are expecting Donald Trump to concede to this vote. Uh, yeah. Within days of it happening. But yet for four years, you said that this presidency was invalid. Give him his time. He, he will, when everything is done and has run its course and he's gone through all the legal action that, he, that he's going to go through, um, then give him his time. There's been times before in the past, by the way, where the American president wasn't actually certified for four months after the election. Okay? For four months. We're not talking about four months from now. These guys are going to be certifying it, but he needs to go through these court cases because there is, believe it or not, irregularities. And it, you can say that there isn't all you want, but there is. The fact just that one county said that there was that glitch and proved that there was that glitch. Proved, yes, proved. Is enough to give you a shadow of a doubt because in one county, 6,000 votes went the wrong way. They were able to fix that and flip it, right? So... Uh, one county out of how many counties, because not only that, they're using the same software in um, Pennsylvania, they're using the same software in South Carolina, they're using the same software in Arizona, and even in Nevada, Georgia. which are all these ones that, yeah. in Georgia, these are all these ones that were so close that they, they still haven't called North Carolina, even though that Trump's got a 3% lead in North Carolina right now, with only 1% of the vote left out. They still haven't called that. They still haven't called. Uh, well, Georgia is going to go to a, a recount, so that's why that hasn't been called. Um, but I mean, Trump is ahead in North Carolina more than he was ahead, or than Biden was ahead in Wisconsin, and they called Wisconsin for him. And now apparently this glitch is in Wisconsin, and they found um, nineteen thousand that votes boat. there. And which would then essentially be a virtual tie for Wisconsin. There wouldn't be a difference of votes at, at all. It would be a virtual tie. Now, again, not being covered by mainstream media so much, um, but I have found a couple of sources that have showed it. it. It has not been changed on the official ticker, on the official vote counter. So that's where I'm kind of holding off on that before we, we expose that. But there, there has been that which would then mean that they have to flip the state to red or change it back to questionable, which would then take away the votes that Biden, um, re -vote. the votes that, that Biden had, <laughs> you know, it's almost to the point where it has to happen. <laughs> you know, that's the only way that people are going to think that, uh, the American politics are legitimate is to have a revote, uh, or something like that. But, uh, or, uh, somebody else was saying, well, let's just recount the ballots. Well, if there was, physical and they have affidavits now saying that people have changed and tampered the uh election ballots so, okay so there are there's affidavits a year old guy that voted this. dead for 100 years or something he yeah, voted yeah 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 i mean hey zombie Thanks voting the you know? <laughs> well yeah <laughs> but but the the main thing is that um the, the these things have been proven uh, and and they are now coming to, to light let's let's actually take a look at this and and so somebody said well let's just recount all the votes well if the legal ballots are already there and they didn't allow the republicans there to actually view everything so how are they supposed to know where these illegal ballots came from and, and which ones are illegal now and which ones aren't because now they're all in the same pile right so they're still there um just like the um you sent a video of somebody discarding uh, ballots into the back of a truck. Um, just it happened. Yeah, and, and they, they were handling them with the best of care, weren't they? It was amazingly on how <laughs> nice they handled those letters. It yeah, reminds me. Just let, 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 let you know, they, they, they threw them. Uh, <laughs> so so it was, they were just being tossed in there like, uh, 
like it was uh, somebody's thrown up discarded uh, leftovers from last week. And more people are going to start coming forward to guarantee either that or we haven't heard it yet or seen it because they're being blocked somehow. Like well, more uh, people come through and be like, yeah, I or yeah, like I noticed there the glitches and we told our boss and he said, don't do anything. Like people are going to come out eventually. Regardless, the American people voted. Good for them. Glad they got out and voted. It's just, can you ever trust the system again after Russia hacked it the first time? Right. Now, was it Russia or China this time? You know, like, or was it yeah. was it the Democratic people that, that ran the computer systems and the software? Because we know how easy that would be to throw a little virus glitch in there. Yeah, well, and that and and that's the thing. And and was it a so glitch? Fun. Was it a glitch? Uh, and the other thing that the, the company is saying is, oh, that, well, that was because uh, that those counties failed to upgrade uh, their system before election day. Um, so let me ask you a question: uh, You failed to upgrade it before election day. Why should you have to upgrade it? How was there this glitch? in there to begin with if and if you knew about it why wasn't it it's like widespread like hey if you have this software you have to upgrade it why is it now just coming out uh, about that so how many of these other billions of dollars upgrade their software yeah yeah imagine imagine that company came out and said you know we can't accurately count the votes our software is um obsolete right now or it needs upgrades so we're gonna have to wait a while i'm imagining their stocks would to the ground and there's no way right, right. Like, there's no way they would have to lie or do something yes no for sure i'm just uh looking here i think i have uh, uh a one-way conversation going on um on here because i forgot to uh to push something but um nobody said anything so uh oh. but that uh, that there should fix it what uh what we're having an issue with and if not this should fix it for sure um, but anyways, now that we're almost finished, uh, finished for the day. Uh, oh, you got a great one. Yeah. Well, if, if you did miss what Corey was saying, I have it uh, recorded this time. I made sure I pushed the record button. So, uh, you know, and, and for your show is the only one that it doesn't automatically record. It's like the government doesn't want us to record it. Every other show that I do is hundred <laughs> percent automatically. It turns on and it records, but when Corey calls him, that record button has to be hit manually um and uh you know screws it's things up. words yeah yeah it's 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 crazy it's nuts um but uh yeah we got uh we got through anyways uh is there anything you want to add before we before we go today uh a little bit i guess yeah just just with the whole fact of of with some of the conspiracies and other things that i've seen um uh, I've seen lots of uh, videos of the time travelers supposedly coming back to this time and, and and they were in the future and a lot of them, all of them said Trump would get in second term. Now, they never talked about how he would get in or what would happen, but they always talk about him getting back in. Right. Um, but again, this is all conspiracy stuff. I mean, you can watch as many time traveler videos as you want. Um, at the end of the day, nobody predicted this coronavirus. Um, but I can talk about different time traveling and the dimensions we're in later, but right. Yeah. Now, now, uh, Simpsons, by the way, the Simpsons also, I believe predicted that Trump would, uh, win a second, um, term after his in between. So there was like one term that he does and then Lisa becomes president and then he wins again in 2024. I believe yeah. uh and that was like in 1990s that they had uh yeah. did that episode i heard he could run for it again is that true oh yeah he can and and actually lindsey graham for example has come forward saying yeah trump should uh should run again in 2024 um you know so from what i hear the following is a real possibility in 2024 these are the following people that may be running for president in the uh, Republican Party should the election results not be uh, changed around. Okay. Um, first, we have um, Donald Trump Jr. Next, we have Mike Pence. And after that, we have Donald Trump. Can you imagine those three running against each other? 
No. <laughs> I don't think so, I want to. I think I'll vote for Kanye West again. <laughs> uh, I, I still think that eventually we're going to have a female president, though. Yeah, well, uh, very, very likely if uh, if everything stands, and you know, most likely, guys. Just so that you, we're we're just telling you this, most likely that that will stand. Um, that Joe Biden is the president, and that Kamala, Ka Kamala, I don't know how to say your name properly. I apologize, but anyways, yeah. uh, that she will be uh, vice president, and you know, there's the whole theory that uh, right away that she's going to say that he's not mentally capable of being the president which cool. would then make her the president and um Hansi pelosi the vice president good luck with that one glad i'm canadian today <laughs> no i love america if i could yeah. get yeah I'd, I'd move to america i love america yeah well right now we can't get over there anyways uh but yeah we we do wish our friends over there the best hopefully they get this sorted out one way or another and get sorted yeah. out peacefully um you know the other thing that i have noticed is that there hasn't been very many uh, or it just isn't being shown on the news anyways but protests uh violent protests or anything like that um regarding uh trump not getting in but there was a lot of protests and violent protests and stuff about trump that when he did get in the first time so this time now yeah. that he's not in all of a sudden it's it's like those that it was those uh, protests were set up by the democrats but would you really i was gonna say would you really want um you know right after you spend all this money to get biden in do you really want to show videos of people rioting and looting because uh, biden's in or do you want to show videos of other stuff so you can say, well, when Biden was in, nobody rioted. Everybody was happy. Come back. Bring Alex yep. Trebek back. Yeah. I think it's Ken Jennings now. Um, I heard some rumors that Ken Jennings was actually doing training beforehand to actually replace Alex Trebek. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. So Ken Jennings, um, if nobody knows, he basically is the best Jeopardy player Ever. of all time. Yes. Uh, he's not, he and Alex, him, Alex Trebek hated him, by the way. Um, <laughs> just because he, he got tired of seeing him, right? Uh, I think it was like for 285 days or something like that, that he was on. Oh, it was, yeah. It was, it was quite a, a while that he was there and he, he's won a lot of money, uh, in that time. And, um, so, you know, either that or Watson's going to replace him, um, one or the other, but, uh, I don't think Watson would be a good replacement, suitable, uh, replacement for him, um, because then we'd have machines replacing man and that's just great. Yeah. Bring our jobs back. Yeah. Well, I mean, now that Biden's over there, maybe that is the way that they go because I mean, uh, Watson is a greener alternative to Ken Jennings, even though Ken Jennings will still exist. He does have a carbon footprint. He, he creates methane gas, uh, whereas Watson doesn't. Well, I don't want to get into any more stuff, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can keep going with that. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, uh, we, we, we got all day, all day, right? So anyways, yes, you're right. We do have to get out of here. Um, thank you for joining us here today on Coffee with Sauerkraut. <sighs> where we do Corey's Conspiracy Corner every Wednesday between 9.30 and 10 um, a.m. Right? Is that the time that we do it? Yeah, it's about right. All right, perfect. It's about right. Um, Check out YouTube Access Radio on YouTube. We do have a bunch of videos on there as well. Yes, yes, that is true. There is videos on Corey's Conspiracy Corner uh, on Access Radio. Um, okay, www.youtube slash c slash access radio one uh is where you can find that or just google access radio you'll find all sorts of stuff uh even Heck our radio channel Corey, or not. here's the corner and it comes up oh there you go yes Corey's conspiracy corner and it will come up so um yeah that's uh, the power of tagging right when you put the your name and you tag yourself in the videos obviously uh people can find it 